Okay guys, so as you can see, um, I've just built a little section of a map um, similar to the uh, the little demo that I uh, gave in the introduction to the series. So um, yeah, what we're going to do now uh, is move on to adjusting some of this lighting. So obviously at the moment it just looks like it's kind of the middle of the day, um, a fairly basic kind of sky, uh, you know, nothing too interesting. It's fairly kind of standard. Um, and that might be what the look you want to go for for your game, but I want to show you how you can kind of change that and make it look a bit more interesting. So first thing, um, I'm actually just going to close the content browser for now, just so I get a better view of the game. You can always um, go and redock that again whenever you need to. Um, and I'm going to start with changing the time of the day. All right, so I want it to be more kind of in the evening. So I'm going to select this icon here. This one is the directional light. You see it kind of looks like a sun and it has an arrow pointing down from it. If I follow that arrow back, you see the sun is up there. So that arrow is the direction of the sun. So if I get my rotation tool and I'm going to turn off the snapping for rotation so that it's a bit more free, um, I can rotate it in this blue axis here. See that? And it's going to change the direction of the shadows. Okay. But more interestingly, if I rotate it in this direction here, trying to get a good view, that'll do. Um, we can change it into more towards the evening, go right down to like here or something, uh, maybe even more. You can see it's really getting like, like a sunset. Um, and you can see the sun over there. So again, if I just rotate that over to, to there, we can lower that down and you can see the sun sort of setting over there. And that's quite nice actually. If we can, maybe we'll leave it there. Um, do I like that? We'll go with it for now. It's one of those things where you'll, you'll take some time um, tweaking that to set it up how you like it. Um, that's fine. I might bring it a little bit higher because otherwise it's going to be a bit dark for you guys to see. <laughs> so that'll do for now. So that's changing the direction of the sun and the time of day. Um, beyond that, next thing we want to do, uh, you'll also see this cube here, which hopefully you didn't delete. Um, it's called the post process volume. Um, and what that can do is change all of the post processing effects on our map because at the moment it doesn't still look too dynamic, if you know what I mean. So there are a bunch of different settings that you can change in here and I'm not going to go through every single individual one because that would take too long. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the main ones that I would use. Um, but it's really one of those where you just need to play around with them, see what they do. Um, and, you know, playing around with something is, is generally going to be the best way to find out what it does. So I'm going to go to Bloom. That's one of the ones I would normally use. Turn on Method and Intensity. Nothing will change at first, but if we adjust this intensity by clicking and dragging, you can see the effect changing there. If I turn it really high up, um, it's almost like the brightness, but it's not quite. It's more like this kind of glowing effect um, radiating from the models, um, but it's quite a nice effect. So I like to have a bit of that. Um, so I'll put a bit of that on there for now. Um, some of these won't do anything at the moment because we don't have much in terms of lighting in here. Uh, what else can we do for now? Uh, the lens flare is a good one. So if we turn on the intensity for the lens flare, uh, you will need to see the sun though with lens flare. So if I just rotate that so we can see the sun, we go see this, this effect here. That's called your lens flare. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, let's go back to my post-processing volume, back to lens flare. I turn down the intensity to like 0.1 or even 0.02, really, really low. I like to have it a little bit on there, but very low. Um, that's lens flares. Uh, image effects, we have this one thing called a vignette, which is another one that I like. So if we turn that on, we can crank that up and you can see it darkens the edges of the screen. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of that. Obviously, if you put a lot on there, it looks uh, it can look quite effective for certain situations, but not necessarily for the whole time. So just a little bit of that is quite good. That's in image effects. 
depth of field, that's where um, obviously things that are in the distance are sort of more blurry and things that are closer to the screen are going to be more in focus. Not really um, something I'm going to use. Um, within gaming, it's not used too much. Um, it's more something you might set up for like a, a product visualization or particularly for architecture or something like that. Uh, so we're going down to color grading. So uh, we'll just go to global. That's going to show you mainly what this does. So if we look at the saturation, we can turn that on. Uh, you can adjust the amounts of reds, greens, and blues. So if I turn up the amount of red, or turn down, you can see that the effect that's having on uh, the scene, greens as well. So if I wanted to make it more kind of bluey, maybe. Okay, it's one of them where you really have to tweak and adjust. I make a bit more satur less saturated. Uh, also, the Y will do the whole thing. So if you really wanted, you could have saturation to zero and it'll be all black and white. Um, we've also got the contrast is another one that's quite good to do. So we can adjust the contrast. So we, we can up the amount of uh, blueiness here. So it really changes the, the mood of the, of the scene. Um, or we could make it more, there we go really quite high contrast if you wanted. Um, so that's a global. So again, this is going to take just some playing around with to get what you like. Uh, and then the same with all of these here. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about any of the others for now, but those are some of the main ones that you can you can adjust. So if I get my sun again, reduce it back down to I don't want to do too much tweaking because the video will be too long. <laughs> That'll do for now. Okay, so there's lots of things that you can adjust there to get the lighting set up. Um, how you like it. Okay, I think that'll do for me for now. Okay, so again, continue to ensure your, your map is built. Um, set up that lighting and all that post-production how you like it. And then we'll be ready to move on.